Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to dump a Switch Games ROMFS using NX Dump Tool. So ROMFS means ROM file system, so this is going to be dumping all of the files inside of the game. The types of files you'll find in here will change on a game by game basis, but most common ones will be models, sound files, music files, textures, collision information, and pretty much any other internal game file that it would access at any point. If you plan on making any kind of texture hacks for any games or any music hacks, it is certainly uh, useful to know all of the file names and exactly how it's structured. So that was just a pretty basic explanation of what this will do, and now let's actually get started on it. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is go to this GitHub link, which I'll have linked in the video description as always, and what we're going to do is just download the nxdumptool.nro file. Now I also should mention that you do need some kind of custom firmware on your Switch in order to use this, whether that be Atmosphere or SXOS or any other available CFW, but I kind of assume you already have that if you're planning on dumping any game files. So once you've got this all downloaded, what we're going to do is just right click on it like this, and we're going to copy it, and then we're going to go on to our SD card root. This is my Switch's micro SD card that I pulled out from my Switch right behind the kickstand, and in here I'm just going to paste the file inside of the Switch folder, just like this. And as you can see, there it is. So now I've got it alongside all of my other homebrew applications, and we can go on to our Switch and boot this just like any other homebrew application. So I'm going to eject my SD card and put it in my Switch now, and I'll meet you on there. All right, so I'm back on my Switch, and I'm booted into Atmosphere right now. So instead of launching the homebrew launcher the normal way using the album icon, I'm going to launch it over YouTube by holding down the R button as I launch this application. This will increase the amount of memory available for NX Dump Tool to use, and this will overall increase the speed and stability of the application. So again, I'm holding down R, and I'm launching the YouTube app. So this will load us right into the homebrew launcher, and now we're going to scroll over and find NX Dump Tool. So here it is, and we're going to press A over this application to launch it. Once you launch the application, you'll be shown this screen, which you can either choose to dump the game card content or dump installed SD card content. So if you choose to dump the game card content, then it'll take a second to load, and then you'll be shown this screen with all these options. So like I said, for this video, we're going to be choosing to dump the ROMFS, so we can press A over ROMFS options. Now here is where you'll need to configure some of the settings to your own liking. I recommend enabling use update slash DLC because this will give you the most up-to-date version of all the game files and under very rare circumstances do you actually want just the original files. Most of the time if you're going to be doing any kind of texture hacking or if you want to see how the file system is laid out, you're going to want to use the update slash DLC since that is the most recent version of the game files. And then for this option up here, you can either choose if it'll output to the normal directory inside of the Switch folder or inside of uh, the Layered.fs folder. I'm just going to keep mine at the default setting since I'm fine with how it is now. And for this option to split files bigger than 4 GB, uh, you're definitely going to need to do this if you're on FAT32, but if you're on EXFAT, you can choose to disable this. So now once you've got all the settings configured, you can scroll back up and do ROMFS section data dump. So this is going to start dumping all the game files. As you can see, it's dumping some of the files right now. These are going to be some of the levels that it's downloading. I can tell just by looking at the names of them. But like I said at the beginning of this video, all games have different data that it's going to be dumping. So this can take a while depending on how big your game is. For this example, I'm doing Mario Maker 2, which is not a huge game, but something like Animal Crossing New Horizons will definitely take longer. So we'll just wait for this to get done. Alright, so it just finished dumping the data, and we can press any button to continue now. So if we go back, um, I'm just going to show you quickly what it would be like if we chose to dump an SD card game. So if we press A over this, this is going to show us a list of all the installed titles on our Switch. So to dump a game, just press A over it again, and then go down to ROMFS options, and this is going to be pretty much all of the same options that we just covered. So again, I would recommend using the DLC if you want the most up-to-date data, and again, this is for your choice, and this, if you're on FAT32, you should definitely have this enabled, and then we can just dump the data. So again, as you can see, it's dumping all of the data, and this one's a little bit bigger since this is a more detailed game, so this is going to take a little bit longer. Once again, I'll get back to you once this is finished dumping. 
Alright, so it just finished dumping my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe data. So again, just press any key to continue. And then uh, we can press B to go back out of all of this stuff. And then just press the home button to go back to the home menu. So now that I'm done using it, I'm just going to close out of it. And then I'm going to turn off my switch and plug my SD card back into my computer. So I'll do that now. So now once you've got your SD card plugged back into your computer, you can go into the Switch folder and then the NX Dump Tool folder inside of that. And inside of here will be all the files that you dumped. So since this video was showing you specifically how to get the ROM FS, we're going to go inside the ROM FS folder. But in case you decided to dump anything else while you were at it, you could just find them inside of these other folders. So now inside the ROM FS folder is where you will see all of the titles for the games that you dumped. And then directly inside of one of these directories is where you will find all of the ROM FS files for that game. So this is what the Mario Maker 2 file system would look like, and inside of each of these folders we'll see some uh, different files that the game accesses. For example, inside of Course is likely where we'll find a lot of the levels that are built into the game. As suspected, a lot of these are .scs files, which is a typical Nintendo archive file that stores a lot of Course data, collision data, and packs pretty much all of it into one file. We'll likely find a lot of these inside of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe ROM FS2. And since both of these are made by Nintendo, the file system layout is very similar. So again, inside of the course folder is where we will find all of the files for the levels. And I'm just going to go inside of a random one. So this is Mute City, it looks like. And these are all of the game files. So yeah, if you want to make a backup of these files and use them on your computer, uh, you can just select the folder and copy it and then just paste it somewhere on your computer. So I'll just paste mine inside of my games folder, and I already have a folder called ROM Hacking, so I'm just going to paste both of these directly inside of here. And now I'm going to have a backup of the ROM FS on my computer as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show you in this video. So this should have taught you how to dump the ROM FS for any Switch game and copy the files back onto your computer. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, like the video if this helped you, subscribe if you want more Switch tutorials or other stuff like this in the future, and I'll see you next time. Bye.